What's going on guys? Tonight I'm working on my 1995 Honda Elite 50cc. This is a Honda SA50 Peep, very similar to the Honda Dio. Now I found this thing at the end of my alley as trash and so uh, I've been trying to get this thing started. But currently I have a no spark issue. I'll be consulting my Honda service manual. This thing is awesome. It has a whole list of steps to go through for diagnosing like no spark and they put all the steps like in the most logical order so this is like really helpful so the first thing they want me to do is to take off these uh leads from the ignition coil and we're just going to check resistance between these two terminals okay so i have my voltmeter set for ohms and i just take one end of the leads from the voltmeter just put it on each terminal now, my manual says that I should have somewhere between 0.1 and 0.4 ohms, and you can see 0.2. So technically that would be within spec. But, you know, I have one concern though, and that's if I touch these leads together from the voltmeter, it actually doesn't go exactly to zero. I get a little bit of a read. And so I guess I'm a little concerned because when I read the resistance at the coil, is the reading I'm getting, is that the resistance from the coil or does that coil not have any resistance? And that little bit of resistance that I'm reading, is that just coming from the voltmeter? I'm not really sure, it's kind of too close to call, but I'm just gonna continue on with the rest of the test and just see how it goes. The next test is to remove the spark plug from the plug wire and you stick one of the electrodes into the spark plug cap, touch the metal at the end, and then you take your other uh, electrode and touch it to the green terminal on the coil and we should get somewhere between um, 5 to 11 K ohms and I'm not getting anything and so that could mean my spark plug cap um, could be jacked up or it's not connected to the wire very well now I've unscrewed the spark plug cap and I just had the electrode jammed into the wire and I'm still checking at the green and still nothing. So this spark plug wire may just need to be cut back to get some fresh wire exposed, or my spark plug cap might need to be cleaned out on the inside if it's kind of corroded. I've already cleaned it out as best I could, and um, still no luck. Right now, I'm kind of thinking ignition coil is the most likely culprit, just not getting continuity and not getting the proper resistance. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna replace this ignition coil with this um, ignition coil I got off of eBay for super cheap. We're gonna cross our fingers and hope that this thing works. Just make sure your leads are disconnected from the coil and there's just this one mounting bolt. Just loosen that up and um, the whole thing will come off. Then the new ignition coil just mounts in with the one bolt, uh, green wire to green terminal and then the other terminal as well. So I got my spark plug. This is a new spark plug as well. So if I just touch that to the cylinder head, boom. And there is spark. Awesome. So it was the coil that was the issue. Okay, so pretty painless fix. Just swapped out the ignition coil and uh, we got spark. You know, I've actually I haven't had this bike running yet. You guys wanna see if it'll kick over? Let's give it a shot. I got a couple things I gotta hook up to the carburetor, but uh, just give me a second and uh, we'll try it.
So wheat, it actually starts. That's the first time I've had this thing started ever since I rescued it from the trash. So cool. Now, I don't want to run it too much right now just because I want to do some inspection of like uh, like the drive train. I need to check the oil in the, um, like the final drive, uh, see where that's at, and just make sure nothing's binding too much. And I'll do a few other inspections, just to make sure everything's good. I would really hate to like mess something up just because I overlooked a detail. But uh, I'm gonna get this thing ready to, ready to rip. This will be sweet. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel to see uh, further updates on uh, my elites and other bikes. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, see you later.